Now quote coloring books are really popular on Amazon and in this video I'm going to show you how to create these super fast with AI tools. So if we come over to Amazon and take a look at the quote coloring book niche, then you will get quite a lot of results that do come up in this instance. We have 6,000, it is quite a competitive niche. And if we take a scroll down to have a look at some of the books, the first thing you're gonna notice is the attractive book covers that really shout at you. And then we can take a look at some of the sub niches an inspirational coloring book. We've got one about love. We've got a funny quotes about mood swings and another inspirational coloring book. So take your time in order to find books and niches that are in demand. Most people will turn away from a niche like this and say it's saturated, but if we take a look at the last 30 days, then we can see countless amount of books that have been released very recently that have a fantastic BSR. You can see this one has the BSR of 43,000. This brand is quite well known, so we won't focus on them. Another one that has 80,000, another one that has 262,000, and one here that has 150,000. So we can keep scrolling and see countless new books doing really well. Now, the great thing about these books is that they are very simple to create. So if we just take a look inside one of these books, and let's go with this one that was released on March 21st and currently has a BSR of rough 204,000, then we can see that all it consists of is a few words with a mandala background. So that's all we need to include within our book. So for us to get our mandala coloring pages, we can go to Creative Fabrica and we just type it into the search bar and then just take a look through in order to find an interior that you like. I've chosen this one. Now, if you've got a subscription, then you will be able to download it for free and you can see that it does have commercial and full POD usage allowed. If you're interested in a subscription, then Creative Fabrica are currently running an all access free trial, which allows you up to 10 downloads and I'll link that in the description. Once you've downloaded the coloring pages, just take a look inside the PNG folder and make sure that they're all numerically listed as this is gonna make the bulk create process much faster in Canva. Next, what we're gonna do is go over to chat GPT to get our words for our quote coloring book and you're going to need to type in a prompt if you've already got an idea then go with that but in this instance what's worked for me is asking chat GPT to list a specific number of short affirmations in this instance I've gone with 30 for kids in under five words with no full stop this makes the responses very short and concise perfect for our quote coloring book and not having the full stop just makes everything easier when we copy and paste it into Canva and just as a caution if you are asking for longer quotes then you might want to check those against a plagiarism checker just to make sure and to keep your account safe after we've done that, we're going to need to go into our software to start creating our coloring pages. So we can go into Canva and just click create a design. The size I usually go for is 8.5 by 11. Then we just click create a design. So then we've got our blank coloring page. I usually duplicate this as the first page will be used as a coloring page. And the second page, I usually always leave a blank as this will be the page behind. Now we are only going to need two pages as we're going to be using the bulk create feature and this first page will be a template for all our coloring pages. So first we need to provide a frame in order to place our mandala coloring pages that we downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So to do this we need to go to elements and then we can scroll down and look for frames. We click see all and then in the search bar we can type in rectangle and we need to find the perfect frame that's going to fit into the background. The best I could find was this one here. This a rectangular frame with a thin border. So then what we need to do is just place it onto our page and just make sure that everything aligns right. Then you can see it comes with a thin orange border so we just want to get rid of that. We can just click on it and then go into the left top corner and change that to white and that's perfect. So that's the background sorted. Then the next part we need to do is start adding some text. So on the left hand side, we can just go over to text and you can just choose something that you like to start off with and then just change the font size. I usually like going with font size 120, click enter and then just make sure you align everything to the center. Then make sure you change the outline of the font to black. Next, you want to fill in the font. So go to effects and then you can choose the style splice and you're going to have a few options. Add more effects to the font. We're going to go with offset and the more you increase it or decrease it, you're going to see 
in the background the effect that that has but we're going to take that all the way down to zero then the thickness you can choose how thick you want to make it we're just going to leave that at 50. now we just want to get rid of the gray fill in so we go to color and click white and that looks much better to allow anyone to color in the words what we can now do is upload our mandala coloring pages so we just need to go to upload on the left and make sure that you upload the correct file then what you might want to do is just quickly test out the coloring pages to see how they look and you can just paste it onto the frame and you can see that everything looks fine and if you're happy with it just make sure you delete it otherwise the bulk create won't work so to access the bulk create feature what you're going to need to do is go over to the apps and then you should find it under the more from canva but as i've already used it all i need to do is scroll down on the far left and click bulk create you'll be provided with two options to enter your data manually or you can upload your file as a csv and if you wanted to do it that way all you need to do is copy and paste your words into an excel document then export it as a csv but in this instance we're going to enter the data manually and you're going to be provided with we're not going to need to use these so we can just clear the table and then we can start on a fresh table always make sure that you put something in the title otherwise this is not going to work so our title is just going to be words then we can go back to chat gpt in order to fill in the rest of the table and as we've got all our words listed out, we can just copy and paste them back into Canva. So that's perfect. And then we need to add our mandala pages. So we just click add image. You will have to add each image individually to the table, but as they've been uploaded and numbered, this will take you less than a minute to fill out. Once you've added them all individually, then you can go to the right side and click done. Then we just need to connect our data fields with each specific part of the coloring page. So for the words, all you need to do is click on connect and then you connect that to words. And then for the image, we just click on the frame. Then we right click in order to access the options. And then we go to connect data and make sure that we go to image. And then once both data fields have a purple tick next to them, we can click continue. Then we can actually choose how we want to apply the data. So if there's any words you don't want to include, then you can just again tick on the box, then it's going to take that out. And once we're happy, we just generate the 30 pages. So it will create a whole new page for us, but we can take a look at what it's produced and you can see it's followed all the instructions. It looks really good and it's created that in a matter of seconds. So we've got the blank page, then we've got the words, we've got the blank page again. So you can take a look throughout all the pages just to make sure that all the words are aligned right. You might find one or two that you might just need to slightly change but honestly this just takes a matter of seconds then you can take a look through your other pages just to make sure everything is fine but this is an amazing tool that canva has introduced you can just imagine how many pages that you are able to create i did 30 in this instance but if you want to do 60 90 that's up to you now to download our interior pages what we first want to do is name the document so we can put it down as affirmation coloring pages then we go over to share and click download then make sure we choose it as a pdf print then make sure the file is as a CMYK best for professional printing and finally download let me know in the comments whether you found this useful and you can check out another of my videos here